Hey guys, it's me Aqua and welcome back to another episode of Terraria. So you might notice a few changes in my house and there is a couple changes in my house and I'll go through them right now. Okay guys, so the first change I made here, um, actually before I do say anything, uh, in between episodes I've been working a lot with, <clears throat> like I'm just going to call it redstone because for Minecraft, but I've been working with a lot of these things and I figured out how to do things. So you can see I've kind of wired up a few things. So with this, if you step on it, the wall goes away, and then it's back. <laughs> and I made this. <clears throat> it's a teleporter all the way up here, so I don't have to fly. So yeah, now I have the teleporter to go all the way up. I have kind of like a disappearing door right there. Um, I also added rain clouds because I thought they looked cool. Um, I added <clears throat> the floor to be green brick instead of wood. Don't ask me why. It was like 3 in the morning and I was just playing... Uh, I also fought the pirate army again, and yeah, stuff. I also did that with the doors on each side here, because I just find this so much easier. I don't have to click anywhere. I'm instantly <clears throat> inside my house. Nobody can do anything about it. It's just such a great system. So yeah, I just walk in, and then, hey, there's a monster. I can just walk in, and they can't do anything about it. <clears throat> so really, there's no way for monsters to get inside my house unless they spawn in here. But... I don't want to just <clears throat> build stuff off camera and not kind of show you how I did it. So with these doors, it's actually quite simple. Uh, there, I don't even know how to pronounce these, but these are things you actually put on blocks. Uh, like here, I'll make an example. I can put these on these blocks right here. And if I power them, that block disappears. Uh, so as you guys know, there's switches and levers and stuff. And that kind of gives it power, you know? <clears throat> And with wire, the wire brings it the power. So if you ever want to power anything, you do need to have the redstone on it. So you need to actually have it in. And really what I love about this game is that I'm only using red wire for now because it's very, very simple. But there's you can have different colors of wire so they don't overlap and stuff. And I just find it so cool because the wires can go like through walls, through everything. And then like this one over here, <clears throat> I just took this and I ran it all the way up until here I just ran the wire of course it cost a little bit but yeah even with these it's just two pressure plates just hooked up just like this and then the wall so now whenever I walk past it the wall just disappears So I, f I find that pretty cool now I'm gonna sort of assume that <clears throat> most of you know how this redstone works so to be honest it is pretty simple once you get used to it but I, I just find it so cool um, so what I did like, I <clears throat> played a lot at night just to figure out because I, I wanted to test. I've never worked with this, and I really wanted to test. And I think I just broke a bunch of wire here. But I can fix it because I know how to use this now. All right, guys. So I got it fixed. Uh, there is a little bit of problem with this design. It can get broken a lot and stuff, but it doesn't matter. So over time, I'm going to kind of be playing with it. Uh, the thing about this kind of redstone with wires and stuff is it takes multiple tries to get actually what you like and that can probably take hours for me like this i switched design a million times these teleporters i actually used right here i put like one teleporter there one teleporter there but i didn't like it so i switched it to these i tested so with these things it's just going to be kind of things i have fun with and then i'll show you guys after i'm done with it but for now i think that's pretty cool i don't know I'm really enjoying playing with these. And of course, I'll be adding these a lot more. Uh, once I start making <clears throat> a lot of money, what I might do is uh, add one teleporter at like the jungle and then wire it all the way across to the jungle. I don't know. But yeah, so I, I find it pretty cool. Another thing I did is I did add this kind of little room here. As you guys saw, as you guys saw before, these kind of were just hanging off the ceiling, but I ran out of room. So, what I decided to do is just add, well, kind of just little rooms. So, now I do have more room for banners and stuff. I don't know, just a little addition. But, guys, you do know what we have to do this episode. Last episode, we defeated all three mechanical bosses, which is amazing. That means <clears throat> we can go mine the ore from the jungle, and, of course, we'll be doing that. But, to get that ore, we have to have a certain pick so we're gonna make that picker right now actually we're gonna quick stack these i don't want to lose that gold okay guys so here is the drac so it is a drill 190 power 200 power 
so it is even better than my drill okay so let's make that and that will be a new drill and we even got um achievement that's pretty cool guys so uh, i'm actually gonna head to the jungle and let's gather some of that ore. All right, guys, this is going to be officially the first time I'm ever going to use this teleporter to actually do something. Bam. <laughs> and now I can run over to the jungle. That's... Awesome. Alright guys, I'm just here digging in. Guys, that is the bulb to summon Plantera right there. <clears throat> that is our ticket for the next boss, actually. Right after the mechanical bosses is Plantera. And we will be building our stage right there. So guys, <clears throat> I don't think I'm strong enough for Plantera just yet, but it'll be coming soon, which is awesome. So yeah, guys, get prepared for Plantera. And I'm actually surprised I found a bulb already. I'll have to make sure to keep that in mind so I don't lose it. Alright guys, I don't know if it's the same one, but there's actually another bulb right there. So yeah, I guess we have two. Alright guys, I'm digging, digging, digging. I actually have around 450 chlorophyte, with, which I think will be enough. But I'm just going to keep digging because why not? And there's another plantera bulb. So I think that's three now. <laughs> we'll have a lot of chances to fight Plantera. Alright guys, I am back home. I just died, but that's fine. I don't think I need any more anyway. Let's just kind of quick stack everything so we can get things out of the way here. Alright guys, let's make ourselves some <clears throat> chlorophyte bars. Make a whole lot of these. And that actually should be more than enough to get us everything we need. Chlorophyte Claymore, Chlorophyte Saber, Shot Ball, War Axe, Jackhammer, 90% Hammer Power, Chainsaw, <clears throat> Chlorophyte Pickaxe, Chlorophyte Drill. Our Drax is actually better, so I'm not going to get this, but what we're really looking for is the armor. So this is the Chlorophyte Helmet we want, for sure. Of course, we want to make the Plate Mail. And we want the Greaves. So guys, this is everything. The set bonus for having the entire set is that summons a powerful leaf crystal to shoot at nearby enemies. So it's kind of like a little minion, which is pretty cool. You guys can see it right there, actually. Let's test it out. Let's go outside, see what it does. So see, it's just kind of like a little thing. And it's actually really strong. I'm not going to even lie. That is pretty good. I look like a Sims character, though. Alright guys, so you guys know what the next step is. We need to defeat Plantera, but I don't want to do that today. We'll actually probably do that maybe next episode, and I'm not even lying. We're flying through these bosses. I think maybe next episode. Well guys, we just got the armor, but there is another thing I want to do. We've been using this imp staff for so long. I got an amazing enchantment on it, but... Guys, I think it's time to say goodbye to the imp. There is something new we could make. If we go down here, I did gather the materials. <clears throat> the black lens, souls of sight, lenses, and hollowed bars. That will make us the optic staff. So this summons the twins to fight for us. 
So, yeah, this is going to be our new pet. Um, looks pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, I do want to try to get a good enchantment on it, which might be a little bit tough. Okay, so we're not going to get a good enchantment, but we can at least try one or two times because I have a little, little bit of money. Let's see what we can do about this. Deadly. Celestial. Alright guys, so I did a bit of research and I found out that the best modifier for it is, isn't really mythical, it's ruthless. Uh, with summons you usually want to get more damage and not really mana because it's only 10 mana to uh, summon it anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, the mythical gives it like 15% or 13% more damage. Ruthless gives more damage. It gives like less speed, knockback, and mana cost, but that stuff really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to be going with Ruthless. Okay, guys, so with the help of the internet and my friends, I did a little bit more enchanting, and I've managed to get every, like, the best modifier for each weapon. So with the Flame Lash is mythical for the Beam Sword. I didn't work with this one because I don't use the sword. That's, like, the only one I didn't use. I put this on the Drax because why not uh, ruthless on the optic staff I got demonic on the nimbus rod which is the best uh, mythical on the ice rod and I got mythical on the poison and then I kept warding on most of these uh, except I'm gonna keep menacing on the specter boots and I changed the philosopher stone to arcane now so now we have <clears throat> all the best modifiers and until obviously we get something new but what I want to do now like I said before uh, Plantera is coming up very, very soon, probably next episode, but we're going to need a place to fight it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head over to the jungle, find one of these bulbs, and I'm actually going to build like a mini arena. Now, this isn't going to be like an arena. What I'm just going to do, I'm just going to build a giant straight path that I can run across to beat it, because that's how most people do it. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that. Let's head over to the jungle. Okay guys, right before we get to the arena, I do want to show you guys something. I built another teleporter, and this one actually takes us <clears throat> all the way to the jungle and the hollow. So, I did this because uh, the hollow and the jungle are probably two of the most important biomes, and they're right next to each other. This is a hollow, this is a jungle. So, I used what redstone and wire I had, and I built a teleporter. <laughs> so now, we can actually go down and build the arena. And by the way, guys, the twins, they're awesome. They're actually doing really, really good. I mean, I, I'm, it's kind of sad to say this, but they're way better than the imps. The imps took like 10 minutes to defeat a pixie. These twins will kill them in less than three seconds. All right, guys, so I've done a lot of work on the arena. I'm actually pretty excited to show you guys. Um, it is pretty cool. And I'll show you how I did it after. But yeah, you could probably already see it on the map. Uh, actually, let me get my twins out. Where are my twins? Where are my twins? I need to get the twins. All right. And actually, I came here because I died because I need to light this up. So here's the bulb right there. Still intact. So what I did is I used a bit of TNT. I got a lot of TNT. And yeah, <laughs> and then I placed platforms. It's pretty easy. Uh, I spent a good bit of money on TNT, but it's okay. It was worth it. Now, I just need to place torches everywhere because it is dark in here. Now, I don't know how I'm going to be able to place torches everywhere because the background's a little bit weird, but I'm going to try to place torches as many places as possible. But yeah, uh, I just came along, <clears throat> threw a bunch of TNT, and here we are. Uh, I have this giant uh, hole to fight him in, and we have platforms going across to fight him. Oh, and there's a yo-yo. Hmm. And I am getting a lot of stuff because, obviously, people are dying everywhere. Ooh. Hmm. That's a lot of damage. We also got this cross necklace. Hmm. Increased length of invincibility after taking damage. This is some good stuff. I wonder what this looks like. Well, that's pretty cool. Hmm. We might use that. We'll see. Um, but yeah. The twins are amazing, first of all, they're doing, and we got another yo-yo, uh, they're doing work, they do a lot of damage, more damage than I expected, they're a lot better than the um, imp, I probably should have gotten uh, these <laughs> twins earlier, because, wow, they do something. 
Alright guys, this is the stage actually done. Now, I know this is like really, really just kind of sketchy, but it will work. The arena's... I think it'll be enough size. Now, uh, remember, I've never fought Plantera. <clears throat> I mean, other, with fr other than with friends and stuff, but yeah, I've never actually done it by myself, which is pretty, pretty cool. And this also makes good for a farm. I'm getting a lot of stuff from here since it's just a big open area and the twins are just amazing. But yeah, if I need to, I can even make the arena larger, but I think it'll be enough. To be honest, I think that <clears throat> I'm already way too overpowered to defeat Plantera. Like, I can do it. So I'm fairly confident in this moment, but we'll see. Uh, of course, we're fighting it next episode first thing. No problem. I wonder what this cross necklace does, though. Does it mean we're invincible? Hmm. I have no idea. You know what? Let's equip it. Can we die? Hmm. I don't know. I have no idea what goes on. I'm gonna take it off, though. Put the Spectre Boots back on. But yeah, guys. Um, I'll just kind of leave the arena for now. It's pretty much done. It's already all set up for the fight. So let's head back to the base. Alright guys, so this is going to be the end of the episode. One thing that I did do before we end off, I did redo this room. I took all the banners that I've ever collected, made sure there's only one of them so there's no duplicates. And yeah, these are all my banners that I've collected so far. But other than that, first thing next episode is going to be the Plantera fight. Um, but yeah, today, <laughs> this episode is over guys. I had lots and lots of fun. Just this episode, we've made so many improvements. All our weapons are stronger. My armor's stronger. The entire house is revamped. We've got Plantera Arena. Guys, we're making progress. So, guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as a sportsman channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.